you don't get to avoid pain here as a human because we have our we have the separation that's the pain that we feel is that that pain of being separated from source um so it's a choice to take to to um resurrect essentially all of these emotions all of these feelings um from the different traumas that you've been through and alchemize them release but that also means releasing it and allowing it to transform so then you can feel lighter you can hold more light you can be in joy in these other higher but you can raise your vibration um and then you're still going to dip down and it's going to be this fluctuation um but you don't have to hold on to the pain like it's so hard because it's harder to like remember what it was like before but it's just like the karma the pain pleasure cycle like you can you can elevate out of karma um and the pain and pleasure oh man i had the had it come to me and now i'm losing it um you can i guess essentially you can stay in that for this for this lifetime but then you just come back and you have to repeat the same karmic lessons um and i'm just like i said like it's it's a journey and it's a but ultimately to me it's a choice um it's a choice to follow your intuition it's a choice to alchemize energy it's a choice to raise your vibration to give your gifts um and it just comes like who you are I guess in a way like it's just because there's definitely been times where I wanted to, there's been a lot of times where I wanted to fall off or like but, but you kind of can't regress like it's like once you once you start to see truth and stuff like that even though you have to accept that like your truth is individual and that not everyone's gonna see what you see all you know, this child we've both been out so out of it today um It's just like you don't, you would prefer to work through the delusions than to stay in a state of disillusionment. Um, and to be in those higher vibrations, especially to feel joy again. Like, that's such a beautiful, like, special feeling. Um, and you have to just accept that there's this duality and that people are going to be triggered or whatever. Because it's like, you can't escape all that e either way. So, it's like, do you want to... Um, move through your karma and move through all these things. And yes, there's a lot of like sacrifice and devotion and as to like doing rituals and things like that, as opposed to like drinking and being in self-sabotage. I don't know why drinking just came to me. It could be drugs, whatever, partying, like um, people pleasing, like all to me, even people pleasing is an addiction because that validation, our ego is like hunger for it so you're kind of you're literally in a sense like starving your ego um because once you once you don't have those desires anymore it this, that part about it at least gets easier it's like the devotion becomes like natural it's like you then you don't constantly feel this need for pleasures or validation or these other things and then it's more just like setting firm boundaries and staying focused um and then working with your energy because it's so different like today i'm just i'm beat and but i'm also grateful like i'm so gr i'm just like there's just no there's no price that to put on peace um and to know that in some way i'm helping the earth like the battle of like having to deal with people trying to take your energy and it's it is frustrating and that's a separate part of it but it's kind of like as much as we want things to just be easy and chill and comfortable it's like really we need that we need the challenges um so i think it's just finding being i think being once you're more in line with your align <laughs> more in line with your alignment more often in alignment and you kind of you figure out what works for you um, like what you need. Cause I'm still in that place. Like, like I, I fall off on doing rituals and stuff like that all the time. And I, so I'm still trying to figure that out. But I think that that's what happens when you get to that place of like, you know, what works.